Hey folks, everything new under the sun. This is a Power Mister review. Uh, this is a MPPT charge controller inverter uh, battery uh, charger, and it's basically one of the cheapest units you can get online. And uh, it does work very well. I will uh, say that uh, right out of the box. Um, quickly, people uh, move to grow watt inverters, uh, MPP inverters, which are all seemingly variations of the same design of this power mister. This power mister seems to be kind of the base unit that they're all uh, created uh, from, from the blueprints of. Um, I have to say, generally, it works pretty much flawlessly. The only major issue uh, to the power mister is um, uh, the voltage. The MPPT uh, uh, charge controller on it doesn't always search uh, frequently enough. Uh, so when the voltage is low during the morning, it will kind of lock in at you know 60 volts for example but as the sun comes up and over and starts providing you know uh, 80 100 120 volts to the panels it doesn't always reset and use that extra voltage uh, and that means you have to disconnect your solar panels and reconnect them to trigger it to uh, recalculate um, uh, to maximize the solar inputs. So that that is one of the only um, uh, downsides of this particular unit. Um, another one is that you can't parallel these power mister inverters. If you go up to a grow watt inverter, MPP solar, um, various other ones, the EG4s, you can buy uh, two or three of them. You put them in parallel, and if you have 3,000 watts out of one of them, you parallel another one. You then you have 6,000 watts, and you can put them on different legs. In, in your uh, your solar panel box, your sub uh, sub panel, whatever, and uh, double, triple you, the wattage that you're getting out of them uh, and uh, have them all going to the same battery bank. So that's the downside, uh, again, of this power mister. You can't parallel these units. So if you need more than 3,000, 3,500 watts, that is a big deal. Um, and I uh, definitely recommend uh, moving up. Um, the other thing is um, the monitoring of there's not really good monitoring options and there isn't for really any of the inverters um, a lot of it uh, I think all of it is uh, you know Chinese software Chinese applications um, Chinese you know cloud-based um, uh, monitoring of these uh, so if you find one that has a decent uh, uh, you know in-house monitoring or onboard monitoring um, that is something certainly something to think about uh, this power mister is a 48 volt, 120 volt, uh, a 48 volt battery, 120 volt AC output uh, inverter. It will not do 240, and you cannot use this thing in a 240 volt uh, setup because you can't parallel these inverters like you can with the EG4s, with the MPP solars, with uh, the grow watt inver uh, inverters, uh, all in one units. So that's an, uh, another thing uh, with these. You're not you're not going to be able to do 240 without a bunch of magic. And maybe you can uh, add a um, uh, uh, what's the what's the phrase an automatic transformer or something to to do something magic there. But uh, generally speaking, you're not going to be running your hot water heaters, your baseboard heating, your air conditioning. You're not going to be doing it with that this unit. It's simply too small. But for a small off grid unit, um, it, it certainly works fine. This effectively provides 3,000, 3,500 watts, which is the same as kind of a, a generator on the smaller side, uh, and it's going to be it's going to be working as long as there is solar, and as long as your batteries hold out when there is no solar, uh, obviously. Um, but otherwise, it, it generally works 100% duty cycle. I haven't had any troubles other than uh, the MP2, MPPT voltage recalculation. And so if you want a cheap, uh, usable inverter for an off-grid system and keep the prices low, this is going to do it for you. I bought this used for $400. You can get it brand new for about uh, $700, $800 online. Amazon sells it in other places. Um, about the screws and the inputs, I didn't show it here, but uh, you've seen it on other videos. I think some of the flathead screwdriver screws for like the solar input and the AC. Um, if you plug and unplug it a lot of times, like this is a used unit, though the heads of those be can become stripped a little bit and they're hard to tighten down. So something to think about if it's a used unit. If you if it's a you buy it brand new and you plug it in once, you're probably never going to have that issue. Uh, but if it is used, if you're uh, you know putting cables in and out for whatever reason. Um, then um, th those uh, the tops, the heads of them might strip or be hard to put in. And they, the screws do seem a little bit smaller than uh, I would like, <clears throat> uh, generally speaking. 
So that's what I would say about the input, the wires input. Otherwise, again, otherwise this unit uh, pretty much just works. And so value for money, if you only need one of them, you only need 3,000 watts, you only need AC 120 volts, um, this particular unit works very well. So thanks for watching, folks. I want to give you a quick review of the Power Mister and my experience with it over the last month or so. Uh, and yeah, for value for money, uh, it works uh, pretty well, generally speaking, as long as you know the the uh, the drawbacks and the and uh, the uh, you know possible flaws of it, you can work around them. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.